Parsha's Akev this week says, Ve'achalta, ve'savata, uve'rachta, es Hashem alakecha. Does that sound familiar? You sing it every time you bench. That pasuk, that verse in this week's Parsha, is the very basis for benching. The fact that we eat the savata, that we enjoy the food, and then we thank God for what he gave us. Many rabbis have said that the basis of our own sustenance, financial success, depends on how we bench. Just for thanking God for the food that he gave us is enough for a huge bounty of financial reward to come to us. I understand that we have to thank Hashem for the food that He gives us. He gave it to us. We say, hey, thank you. You know, that's how it works. You know, you just got to appreciate what God gives to us. We are Yehudim. We are Jews. Yehuda means to thank. That's the basis of our name. So why is benching so important, so special to the eyes of Hashem that this mitzvah itself, benching, is actually the basis of our financial success and a lot of it depends on this why what's so special about benching you know what i thought about it for a sec and this is what i came up with there's a discussion in the mishnah brachos about how much bread does a person really have to eat to be obligated to bench according to the law of the torah the number that the rabbis came up with is very very minimal either the size of an olive or the size of an egg now, when you're having a meal with bread, you know you're usually having a lot more than just an egg or just an olive's worth of bread. You're gazanking that bread and down your throat. You're stuffing your face. You're having some chicken soup. You're having some kefilta fish. You're having some meat. You're being malay of a soiva, full and satisfied. You're enjoying yourself. But really, the bare minimum that you need to have is just an olive, is just an egg. And if you just have that amount, that small amount, then technically you are responsible to say the entire Birkat Amazon thanking Hashem for the food. Can you imagine? You're thanking Hashem. You're saying, mm, you had a little bit. You say, oh my God, thank you so much for this amazing meal. It was so delicious. I'm so full. This is You're not full. It wasn't so incredible. You only had a little bit. And yet, that is what we say thank you to Hashem for. And for that reason, I venture to say that Hashem says, wow, over just a small piece, you're already going to bench. You're already going to say Birkat HaMazan and thank me to the high heavens, literally, for all the food that I've given you. Wow, in that case, you deserve to have much more abundance, much more bread, and it doesn't have to be the wheat kind. It could be some other kind. It could be cash in the pocket. It could be financial success. It could be livelihood. It could be health. It could be a wealth. It could be amazingly good stealth. It could be that dog yelling at me, stop, I'm trying to say, come. Hashem says, wow, I know that I gave him a lot of food, but even if it would have been just a little bit, he was already ready to thank me. I have to reward him because just for so little, he's saying thank you for so much. I'm going to give him even more than that, and I'm going to bless him ad infinity. And so, Mir Hashem, God willing, open up a bencher this time when you have bread and bench to your heart's content and be so super thankful for the amazing food that Hashem gives you, even if it's just a little, because a little goes a long way. Have a great Shabbos.